America is Americans in America is delivered from destruction that wastes at noonday. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 91 6. I thank you, Father, that I am delivered from destruction that wastes at noonday. In Jesus Christ's name, Psalm 91 6. And I thank you that your people, Father God, your children are delivered from destruction that wastes at noonday in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I thank you that there is no wasting or destruction within the borders of America in Jesus Christ's name. There is no wasting or destruction within the borders of Americans in America in Jesus Christ's name. There is no wasting or destruction within the borders of your people, of your children in the name of Jesus Christ in America. Isaiah 60, 18. And there is no wasting or destruction within my borders. In Jesus Christ's name, Isaiah 16, Isaiah 60, verse 18. Sorry about that. Isaiah 60, verse 18. Father, I thank you that us in America, all Americans, Father God, will enter in at the straight gate. And we in America, Americans will not walk in the path that leads to destruction. That Americans will enter in at the straight gate, Father God, which would be your straight gate. And Americans will not walk in the path that leads to destruction anymore, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Matthew seven thirteen. I thank you that American leaders and, and Christian leaders as well will, will enter in at the straight gate and will not walk in the path that leads to destruction in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you for Matthew seven thirteen. And I will enter in at the straight gate, Father God, and I will not walk in the path that leads to destruction with your help, of course, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Matthew seven thirteen. Father, I bind the spirit of mammon that come against Americans, that come against American leaders, Father God, that leads to destruction in our lives in America, in Jesus Christ's name. I bind the spirit of mammon that come against me in my life that leads to destruction in Jesus Christ's name. I bind the spirit of mammon that come against American leaders, whether they're Christians or not, that leads to destruction in Jesus Christ's name. 1 Timothy 6 verses 9 through 10. Father, I thank you that Americans will keep their mouths and avoid destruction in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you that American leaders will keep their mouths and avoid destruction in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father, that I will keep my mouth and avoid destruction in Jesus Christ's name. And that you will help all of us in America, Father God, to keep our mouths and avoid destruction in Jesus Christ's name. According to Proverbs 18, 7. I bind and rebuke the spirit of poverty that come against all Americans, Father, that come against me as an American, that leads to destruction in America, in Jesus Christ's name, Proverbs ten fifteen. I rebuke all destruction from the gates, our gates of Americans, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke all destruction from the lives of all Americans, Father God, in our gates in America, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to Isaiah twenty four twelve, in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father, I thank you that your word is done in our lives, Father God, in America, Father God. And I give you glory and honor to you, Father God. You are a mighty God, and I just really appreciate, Father God, what you're doing in America, Father God. And I just thank you, Father God, for that. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, that your word is done for all Americans and in the nation of America, Father God. For the nation of America, I almost said Japan, but for the nation of America, Father God, for all the scripture of your word that I have read over America, for America and for all Americans. In Jesus Christ's name, and Father God, I pray that you will help us in America to repent that you will just really stir us up to repent in America Father God all Christian leaders to all residents in America to repent for the evils that we are doing against ourselves and against each other and against you and being rebellious and stiff necked toward you Father God and being rebellious of your word in Jesus Christ's name and that we will repent for doing all this witchcraft the Satanism, this voodoo hoodoo, 
this treachery and this deviousness, Father God, this cutthroatness and crookedness, Father God, that we do against each other, Father God, and that we do to innocence, Father God, these murdering of babies in abortion mills, Father God, and murdering of the innocents in any slavery program, Father God, that will repent for that and that you will bring awareness to us even more, Father God, to soften up those stony hearts, Father God, that do not want to repent with your power and your might to repent of this evil, Father God, because when we humble ourselves and pray and ask for forgiveness for our evil sins, Father God, you will heal our land in America. So I pray, Father God, that you will bring us down to humility, especially the ones that need to fall down to humility, to repent of their evil sins, how they do against other people and innocent people and innocent souls, Father God, and how we mistreat each other and how we mistreat the children of God and how we mistreat leaders and that the people in America will repent, Father God, for coming against President Donald J. Trump. And being mean and nasty toward him and hateful toward him unjustly, Father God, that they will repent for that. Because, Father God, you will punish these people that come against Donald J. Trump that have disrespected him, Father God, like poop. Father God, your judgment will come upon these evil people that are disrespecting him as a leader and president of America, Father God. So I pray that you will move on the hearts of these people that's disrespecting Donald J. Trump and his family and stuff, Father God, to repent, to fall on their knees and humble themselves and repent for being mean and disrespectful and saying so many mean, slanderous things toward him, toward Donald J. Trump and his family and disrespecting him in various ways, Father God, and beating up Trump supporters and killing Trump supporters, Father God, which they have no right to do, Father God. Because you will punish these people that do that to innocent people, Father God, that mistreat Trump supporters and mistreat the Trump family, that mistreat Donald J. Trump as well, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. That we in America need to repent for that, for the ones that are guilty of doing that, Father God, and mistreating Donald Trump and his family and Trump supporters and anyone innocent, Father God, in this country of America. And persecuting people that want to stand for righteousness and do righteousness, Father God. And want to live for you and be sold out to Jesus Christ, Father God. And that will repent for doing all this gain stocking stuff, Father. And using up people's tax, American hard working tax paying dollars to pay the perps to kill the lambs, the innocents. In any human trafficking program, sex trafficking program. Covert gain stocking program, over gain stocking program, abortion clinics, Father God, abortion mills, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will supernaturally intervene and deal with the hearts of these people, Father God, and press down on their hearts to repent and soften up those stony hearts, those bullheaded hearts, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, to make those Behinds really soft, Father God. A hard head makes a soft behind, Father God. Like my mother always used to tell me, Father God. So I pray, Father God, that you will make a soft behind for the Americans that refuse to repent for the evils and the injustices that they're doing against the innocents from children, from babies to children to adults and to your children, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, in various ways. In Jesus Christ's name, and sinning and doing whatever they want to do. That, Father God, that you will turn the hearts of America to repent and ask for your forgiveness and turn away from their wicked ways and turn to Jesus Christ and turn to the standards of your word, Father God, and do things your way. That they will yield to your kingdom and your kingdom way of doing things, Father God, and to your righteousness and seek your kingdom and your righteousness in America, and Americans, all Americans would do that, and all American leaders and Christian leaders would do that in America, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you, Father God, for making Americans confounded and shame for the evil sins that they have done, Father God, against you and rebelling against you and your word in Jesus Christ's name.
And Father, I forgive, I ask that you forgive me for anything that I have done. Father God, that is contrary to your word and that is displeasing to you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, because it starts with me, Father God. And I ask that you will cleanse me from all my iniquities in my heart with the blood of Jesus Christ. And that you will do that for all Americans, for all American leaders, Father, in America. To cleanse their hearts, Father God, from all iniquities in them. Father God, and sins with the blood of Jesus Christ to make our hearts white as snow with the blood of Jesus Christ and clean with the blood of Jesus Christ and that our slates will become clean with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, from sin, from iniquities in Jesus Christ's name and that our demons will be cast out of us, Father, for the ones that struggle with demons in Jesus Christ in America, in Jesus Christ's name. By your power and your might and your anointing and by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name, Father. And that the Christian leaders will be and the non-Christian leaders will be delivered from their demons and cast. Their demons will be cast out of them too by your power and your anointing and by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. And that you will cleanse the hearts of these Christian leaders and non-Christian leaders in America. Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ from all iniquities and sins in their hearts and make their hearts white as snow. Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I pray, Father God, for your divine protection for all Americans, Father God, for the Donald J. Trump family, Father God, Donald J. Trump and his family, Father God, and his wife, Melania Trump, and their son, Baron Trump, Father God, and all their the Trump children and Trump grandchildren and loved ones and family members and Trump supporters. And for all America's American people, Father God, and for your people, for all Christians, Father God, and Christian leaders in America and all children and all animals in America, Father God, and on this land of America will be protected by you and by your angels, Father God, your warrior angels and your guardian angels and by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that I will be protected by your angels, Father, and by the blood of Jesus Christ as American citizen of America, Father, as well as the other Americans in America. In Jesus Christ's name, and that you'll protect the innocents, Father God, from children, from babies to children to college age youth, Father God, and to adults, innocent adults, Father God, and all targeted individuals that's being targeted in any given slavery program in America. In Jesus Christ's name, from children to adults, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ and with your warrior angels and angelic sheriffs and and guardian angels, Father God, to encamp around us in America. All Americans, Father God, to encamp all around all Americans from children to adults and animals and from this land of America, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, by your holy, powerful, anointed angels, your warrior fighting angels, your powerful angels, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, to protect all Americans. In America and to protect all American leaders in America, especially the Christian leaders in America and your people, your children in America and to protect all animals in America. Father God, with your power, your might and your anointing and with the blood of Jesus Christ and your holy angels to encamp around us 24 seven every day, today, all the time. Father God. To protect us from all evil, danger, and harm, and terrorism attacks in Jesus Christ's name. So, Father God, I just give you glory and honor, and I'm going to play another song, and I think I'm going to pray some more scriptures about terrorism. To protect us from terrorism in America. I'm going to pray some more scriptures, and I think this will be about the last scriptures that I'm going to pray over America. Um... And it's going to be from the same book by John Eckhart called Prayers That Route Demons and Break Curses. And I'm going to be praying over the title, Prayers Against Terrorism, Against America. So, Father, I'm going to be praying that you'll protect America and Americans from the spirit of terrorism and from terrorists in America or outside of America that come to attack Americans. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, according to your scriptures of your word, Father God. 
Father, I bind and rebuke every red eagle of terror that will come against my nation in America and that will come.